Okay, we need something lighter for a minute. So, you know there are times in this job and career that you know it has to be true because you can't even make it up. So let me introduce you to Martin Gonzalez Garcia. This guy is not scheduled to be able to complete college as a Rhodes Scholar. All right? This guy may be like the dumbest person on the face of the earth. I mean, I'm just guessing, thinking out loud, you know. But on the 29th of December, at about 1.10 in the morning, we get a, an alarm at a Dollar General out in Poinciana. And we respond to the, to the alarm and find there's been a burglary and a theft. So we start the investigation, and we have some video of the guy who breaks into the store. Well, the manager looks at this video and goes, well, I recognize that guy. I talked to him about a cell phone. He wanted a cell phone. Interestingly enough, there's a cell phone stolen from the burglary. And, and not only that, he asked about employment. I gave him an application. Well, not only that, I got his phone number. Did you hear that? Did you hear what I said? I didn't stutter. We had his phone number and the deputy who's investigating it go, yeah, I recognize that guy from the neighborhood. So we look for him all through the night, and the night shift goes home. They come back to work that night. Now look, I know, look, y'all look at me. I'm not drinking, okay? I'm not on intoxicating drugs. At 18.55 hours that night, we get a 911 hang-up. A 911 call. Did you hear that? A 911 call. I'm sober as most judges right now. We get a 911 call. Our deputies respond to Cardinal Street in Poinciana to a vacant house with a for sale sign in the yard. So we're checking the house. That's where the 911 call came from. The sliding the glass door is open. So we go in and we check it out. And voila, there's Martin along with his girlfriend, Alicia Ocaso. She's 22. That's right, they're in the house. So we go in and we, of course, take them into custody. Martin confesses to both of the burglaries. Ash Ashless, it she confesses to her burglary that they're in the house. And here's what she said. I, I swear she said this. It's hard for me to even get this out. She dialed 911 to have a deputy come there to help them move their belongings and take them to the airport so that they could fly back to New York that they don't like it in Florida anymore. Did you hear? Did you hear that? Did you hear that she dialed 911 from inside the house that they'd broken into so we could help them pack up and give them a ride to the airport so they could return to New York? You have to be from New York to do something like that. Or you could have been from Baltimore because he used to be there. Or he has an outstanding warrant in Cleveland, Ohio. You could be from Cleveland. But for some reason, I don't think even as uh, inclined as Baltimore and New York is to not enforce the law, that you would think it's okay to commit a burglary and dial 911 to catch a ride out of the place. That's right. They didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Well, there is something wrong with it. You know, in New York, they're not going to hold you responsible for a minor burglary like that with nothing stolen out of the house. 
you know, they're going to let you go or have no no jail bail or I, I don't know what their deal is up there. But newsflash, they weren't in New York. They weren't in Baltimore. They weren't in Cleveland. They were in Polk County, Florida. And in Polk County, Florida, we lock you up. New phone, new cell phone, girlfriend, we took all of that stuff, and we gave them a ride. It wasn't to the airport. It was to the county jail. But given the circumstances in New York City, hey, maybe the county jail in Polk County is better than New York City. It's certainly safer than New York City. So I, I have seen some craziness in my life, but if this is the beginning of 2023, we've got a lot of craziness to see this year. But I don't know of anyone who's ever said, hey, I'm in the middle of a burglary here, uh, but I'd like a ride to New York. Can you take me to the airport? She said that. We thought she was kidding. She wasn't. Now, you can go ahead and ask any questions you want, but I, I don't know how to make sense out of that. I guess you say, well, what do you think, honey? Well, we're not in New York anymore. Give me a kiss goodbye because we're not going to get to stay in the same jail cell in Polk County. It's crazy. Y'all have a good day. Help us catch these bad guys that are shooting up innocent children. Are there any other descriptions of cars or anything? Not yet. We, and, and we have some information, but we haven't focused it down. I mean, we, we are, we're doing the normal, this is a shoe leather type of investigation. So we, we will release other information as, as, as we can focus down, but we think we'll, we'll create more distractions for ourselves and the community at this early stage to be releasing stuff. Okay. Next time you go to the Dollar General and pick up an application and leave your phone number to go to work, don't come back and do the burglary in the middle of the night. See you all later.